Welcome to PC Wizkids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to go over the Ubuntu Eye Candy desktop effects. So if you've seen the uh, neat effects that appear in Ubuntu and you're wondering how to enable those, uh, under the system menu option there's a preference submenu and that has the advanced desktop effects. You need to install that first by opening up a terminal window and entering the following command that I have here. Once you've installed that then you'll be able to access the uh, Compiz settings and go in through all the different categories. I already have a whole bunch checked off and enabled starting of course with the zoom uh, effects that I have here so I can zoom in and out on my desktop pan around uh, while I'm recording here to show you a little bit closer what the um, screen looks like. So whenever you go into any of these options you'll be uh, presented with different types of tabs that give you different options whether it's speed, appearance, and the um, keystrokes, the uh, actions that uh, invoke the different features and functions that you're working with. So let's go through a few of them and let's show you a little bit what you have available. And through, through my videos, I'll uh, show you a little bit more in detail about each one. So we've uh, already gone through the desktop zoom effects and you can see here on the left hand side there's a whole bunch of categories. and. Um, I already have checked off a bunch which I've already enabled and I'll focus on those first we'll talk about those and uh, throughout my videos uh, we'll go through each and every one and show you a little bit on how it's configured and uh, what it looks like. So the rotating of the cube of course the desktop uh, 3D uh, cube is the popular one but there's many more neat features in here uh, than that. Uh, the animations is very important. Uh, you've got uh, reflection, painting on the screen, water effects, um, you know, wobbly windows, uh, and uh, the different types of themes and, and colors that you can add and translucent, opa the opacity. All of that is uh, handled through here, all those, all those settings and preferences. So you can, you can go in and check off different options and enable them, try them out yourself. And uh, I'll go through a few of them uh, so that you can see a little bit more uh, what they look like uh, and like I said the most popular one that, that, that people know Ubuntu for or, 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 or the uh, GNOME desktop for is the uh, 3D cube and uh, I'll start off with that one first since that's a uh, popular one. So the 3D cube uh, essentially if you have a decent um, 3D video card you'll be able to, um, to use that. Uh, you'll just have to of course go in through the, um, the settings and check it off once you've checked off the box to enable that you'll be able to adjust the speed in which for example the uh, cube rotates so um, you'll be able to, to, to adjust the slider for that um, you'll be able to to uh, change how the cube is um, appearing so whether it's semi-translucent or whether you want a different um, background behind it or above it or below it um, you know whether you want uh, one cube to show or a bunch, um, you know, different different styles and behaviors, all of that can be adjusted through these settings. And I already have just one big cube with a standard uh, sky background, and um, and I've added a top and bottom um, image to my cube, so that way if I rotate it, you'll be able to see the bottom of of the image uh, and the top of the image. And it's um, it's got a nice transparent look and feel to it, and that's that's how I've set up my cube in this in this scenario. And of course, to invoke it, uh, you can use the Control and Alt and arrow keys, or your mouse with the Control and Alt keys. And then, as you hold down the mouse and rotate things, you'll you'll be able to manipulate the cube and have it do all sorts of things. Uh, starting, of course, with moving it around. And I'm just moving it up and down here, so you can see. Uh, the shiny reflection, the translucent uh, look and feel of it. Uh, it's pretty neat, you know, you just go and adjust it the way you like it. Um, and of course there's more to it than just rotating the cube, of course uh, you can you can move windows between different sides of the cube um, and, and so forth, but that's basically what I wanted to show for this uh, and uh, we'll go through more desktop effects in my next video. Uh, thanks a lot for, uh, for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.